Hey everyone and welcome back to some more esports talk. My name is Hunter and thank you so much for tuning in. We have just a quick little update on some information that came out after the fact after we made that video on Amaranth and that is some information on just how much she is losing from Twitch cutting off her ad monetization. If you're unaware of the situation, essentially it's what I just said where Amaranth received no warning, no communication from Twitch and suddenly they cut off monetization of her ad on her channel now that doesn't seem like a huge deal maybe to some people and even people such as Asmund Gold himself have said this is probably just a small part of the pie for Amaranth herself but at the end of the day it is still cutting off some money now I personally didn't realize just how much money that this was going to be affecting for her but on a reddit post she commented that that was about $35,000 to $40,000 a month that she would be missing out on. She did, of course, like we covered in the other video, go on to say that she was not surprised by this happening, by them cutting off monetization because she thought it was going to eventually happen. She has clips of her saying that she felt as if this was coming for a while and that the day would come when advertisers would have to step in and say, hey, we don't want this to happen and Twitch would have to listen to them, right? Because advertisers are how they make their money. And so she wasn't surprised, but she was surprised by the fact that they did not communicate in any way that her partner was unaware or or her partner manager sorry was unaware of the situation and exactly what was happening and so that was a little bit of a big deal but I will say I think she'll be all right because she has multiple sources of income like she says she has been making hundred and ten thousand dollars a month on her OnlyFans and let's just say she has about 20,000 subs on Twitch that's around fifty thousand dollars a month from that and none of that is even including donations or all of her other deals and advertisement deals that she can be doing specifically with advertisers like she has over a million on Instagram she has over a million on Twitter and then she has her stream itself where she can have partnerships with different brands and so on and so forth so I don't think that 35 to 40 thousand dollars that she'll be missing out on is a massive deal from her now I'm not someone to assume someone else's finances like maybe she does need it maybe she's invested in something that she really needs that money like I don't know she said that she's gonna be fine but I don't want to make any assumptions here I do also want to point out Destiny had a take on it that we did not have in the original video, but it feels a little bit like a bit of a violation from Twitch. It is really weird though that you can like lose your ad revenue with no contact. F we need to get that Phantom Lord lawyer. I, I'm like 95% sure it was a violation of my contract because I read through it a few times. I did when we were fighting over things. And they, I'm supposed to have time to remedy breaches. It's like a 30-day remedy period. Or they have to inform you if they're cutting off the contract. Like, it has to be, like, a written statement for why. They can't just say that you broke it. It's strange they didn't say anything. But also, um, also for, um, for Alinity stuff, too. Like, I don't think, like, part of the obligation on Twitch's end of those contracts is that they, like, provide, like, um, ouch. Is that they provide, uh, you know, like, ad revenue and services and all that shit. Does the contract say they have to? Yeah, I think that's part of the obligation on their side. Amaranth, did I say Alinity? Oh, Amaranth, sorry. Not too surprising seeing him with this sort of take because he has his own history with Twitch, but I am curious what sort of legal repercussions there are. I mean, obviously someone like Asmund thinks that Twitch can do whatever they want and that's in their contract, but then you see Destiny taking an opposite stance of, hey, this seems like a, a major violation here and seems like Twitch shouldn't be allowed to do this. So that's the little update that I had. Just give me your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? $35,000 a month just from from this is crazy the fact that she's losing that is both a big deal because i think 35 to forty thousand dollars a month is a lot of money to be missing out on but it might also not be a huge deal because she has plenty of other sources so we'll see what happens we'll see if twitch did in fact break some sort of contract i'm curious if this situation is going to expand any further until next time guys be safe be smart behave now catch you later